the Ghost Zapper Maiden Chase is next. This is a two mile on one furlong chase. And at the top, we've got Kaiping Kojak for Vinnie Gerard, Ty Fighter for Paul Rhodes, Wade Bridge for Darren Thompson, and Lemons Mill for Craig Beckwith. There's just four in this. It's only a two mile, and away they go. And Vinnie Gerard's got his fancy new cap on again in this one as they get to the first of the 13, which they're all safely over. And Wade Bridge pulling for its head wants to go considerably quicker than the jockey wants it to at this point, it would seem. And they settle into the lead as they come to the second. And they're all safely over that. Well, we saw a pretty exciting three year old race yesterday. So it doesn't mean to say it's not going to be very exciting because there's just four of them. But admittedly, we did end the day with a bit of a farcical two or a race where one of them fell. But um, hopefully. These will all get round. And Wade Bridge is the one that's showing the way. Leads by about two lengths to Lemons Mill second. Tie Fighter is third and Kaiping Kojak is fourth. So all guaranteed a bit of cash as well if they finish. And Wade Bridge comes into the fourth. And they all jumped it nicely. Oh, and they got this overwhelming urge to sneeze which I'm going to have to try and put off until the end of the race so it's a bit more exciting to find out if that happens rather than what happens in the race anyway they're all safely over that one with Wade Bridge in front with Lemons Bridge Lemons Mill second and then Tie Fighter third Kaiping Kojak is just at the back as they take number six which they're all safely over they all jump in well and Wade Bridge continues to lead by two the rest of them virtually in a line there get to the seventh and uh, jumps were all good again there lemons mill now clear second wade bridge still the clear leader at the eighth all over that one as well nicely lemons mill a little slow but safe enough uh, still only two lengths behind the leader jockey on the leader a little look round there see where the rest of them are They start to move out of the back part of the track and take this really long turn, sort of straightens up and then goes back into the straight as they get to this cross fence and over it they go and all safely over that one. And now they'll make their way towards the straight in the final four fences and it's Wade Bridge who's in the lead from Lemons Mill in second. Then Tide Fighter is third, Kaiping Kojak is fourth. Getting a little bit more strong out now. But the leader seems to be still going well. He hasn't asked him for a, any sort of effort yet as they get over the fourth last. And Wade Bridge now beginning to up the ante and starts to stretch away. He's gone three lengths clear of Lemons Mill over the final ditch. They go and again, Lemons Mill was a little bit slow. Wade Bridge is three or four lengths clear now of the rest of them who are starting to chase. Kaiping Kojak moves into second, racing down towards the second last then there. And it's Wade Bridge a little bit slow over that one. Kaiping Kojak getting closer. So too's Tide Fight and Lemons Mill back in fourth under pressure. But it's Wade Bridge coming down towards the final fence, led all the way. Gets over it nicely. Gets away from it well. Kaiping Kojak is trying to close her inside the final furnal. Wade Bridge is in the mid. Kaiping Kojak is getting closer. Wade Wade Bridge is battling on him a lead. Kaiping Kojak is trying to read him in, and it looks like Wade Bridge has got enough in hand and racing up towards the line. It's going to be Darren Thompson's Wade Bridge that takes it. Kaiping Kojak is second, Ty Fighter is third, and Lemons Mill is fourth. As they all got round, then a pretty comfortable win, really, for Wade Bridge. We took it quite cleverly. Ended up winning by about three quarters of a length. So it's a win for Wade Ridge for Darren Thompson, Copping Kojak for Vinnie Gerald was second, Ty Fighter for Paul Rhodes was fourth, uh, was third, and Lemons Mill for Craig Beckwith was fourth.